you everyone, what's up? It's Amber Bro here, and welcome to an auto mining tutorial. Uh, this is this was requested by Dehu, and I'm kind of glad he requested it because it looks pretty cool. Here's basically how it works. Uh, I didn't make the graphic as like uh, good as I could have, I guess, but oh well, it's there. Uh, as you can see, it doesn't matter what map you're on, you can move around, um, you know, do your own thing, continue on with the game. Uh, I didn't do the calculations uh, for like how um, what like the odds per second are, but I'm likely gonna put them on screen now. Um, but there you go. As you can see, we got one there. Uh, you can be, you know, going about your business, doing all kinds of stuff, playing the game and whatnot. Uh, you can choose not to have a sound if you want, but yeah. And so, uh, yeah, like I said, it doesn't really matter what map you're on. It's always going to be uh, active and that's because it's using what's called a common event. As you see, we got another one there. So let's go ahead and stop mining and we got two ores out of it. So, uh, here's how this works. First, go into the database, and you're going to want to create an item. You're going to make it called ore, or whatever. You can have multiple uh, different types. You can have different odds if you want. You can make this as complex as you want. I'm just going to show you how to do it with one ore. Uh, next, you want to go to the Common Events tab over here. You want to make a thing called Auto Mine, and this will work for VX Ace as well. Uh, this is very com this is compatible with pretty much every RPG maker um, there is that supports parallel processing. <laughs> so uh, you want to make a common event called Auto Mine, or name it whatever you want. Uh, we're going to make it a parallel process, and we're going to make two switches. We're going to make get mine, and we're going to make auto mine. Check the auto mine switch for the parallel process um, common event up here. Next, we're going to use a conditional branch, which you can access on the first tab of the events here. And you're going to check if auto mine is on. You're also going to check the create uh, else branch. Now within that, uh, you're going to show picture, which you can do by the second tab here. Show picture, and you have move picture here too. Uh, both are very important. So you're gonna show picture uh, with any ID that you want. Make sure uh, that you remember that ID though. Uh, in this case, for now, just go ahead and choose one for this tutorial if you're following along with it. Or if you already know what about picture IDs, then don't worry about it. Uh, this will be the picture. I didn't really do much with the uh, changing here. You can kind of barely see it, but yeah, anyway, um, yeah, you. this is the success graphic for the little uh, icon that kind of hovers on the screen. Uh, the position is 24 and 24. Now, we're going to move picture, the same ID that we just created. Duration will be 5 frames, and we're going to increase the height by 5% uh, to 105. Now, basically what that does is it kind of makes it the animation jump really quick, like very, very quickly, a little bit like almost unnoticeable. And then we're going to move the picture again. Uh, also make sure you uncheck the weight thing. I didn't mention that in the last one, but make sure for the two moves that we just mentioned, uh, you, you uncheck the weight for completion. Duration will also be five and we're just going to reset the height back to 100. Next, we're going to show a picture. Uh, we're going to show a picture uh, with a different ID, uh, in this case two. And it's going to be like some sort of little plus symbol. Um, and the, and the position will be 24 by 24 again. Uh, opacity is 255. And then we're going to move the plus picture. Uh, duration will be 60. Wait for completion. Make sure this is checked this time. And then we're going to move it at 24, 0. Um, basically, it moves up and change the opacity to 0. Then after that, we're going to erase picture number 2, which can be also found on the same thing. Erase picture right here. Uh, in inside of the else thing, you're just going to show this. You're just going to do one small thing. It's going to show a picture, um, and it's going to be the rock normal, like not, uh, the one that you don't get. Next, you're going to do control variables, which you can access here. Uh, going to the first tab here, uh, control variables. And what we're going to do is we're going to select. We're going to make two variables. One of them is called mine, and one of them is called or collected. So uh, we're going to access the mine variable and we're going to set it between random of zero and a thousand. Next, we're going to do another conditional branch. We're just going to check if the variable mine is equal to 500. Uh, don't check the uh, create else branch. And within that, we're going to play a sound effect. I just have a little beep sound from the, uh, my dogs are barking. Uh, we're gonna wait for five frames and play a, the same sound with a different pitch, which makes a doot sound. Then we're going to control switches, which you can do by the first tab here, control switches, and we're going to turn get mine on. And then we're going to control the variables. We're going to add or collected 
by one. I uh, just kind of goofed it there, but there you go. Click OK. Now, on the event here, you want to give some kind of a graphic uh, for the mine entrance or whatever you want to do, however you want to set it up and do it. Uh, make sure the priority is same as characters, though. Then you're going to show some text. It says mine here. And then you're going to show choices, uh, yes or no. And if yes, we're going to control switches auto mine on. Click on copy event page and then paste it. Uh, you should have the exact same page, but um, we're going to change that. Next, uh, on this, make sure you're on the second tab up here, and then you're going to check switch and you're going to check auto mine to make sure that this event only happens when you're uh, with the auto when auto mine is on. Now that we're going to change the text, um, and it's going to say stop mining. It's going to ask you if you want to stop mining. Show choice, yes or no. Then we're going to turn auto mine off. After that, we are going to increase uh, our items, or in this case, by variable or collected. And then we're going to show some text that displays uh, the, or the variable here. As you can see, it displays the second variable. Uh, right now, it'll appear as zero if I preview because it's the preview. Then we're going to control variables and we're going to say we're going to set or selected back to zero and we're going to erase the picture, the, uh, the same picture ID as the little rock thing. And that's literally all there is to it. That is how you do an auto mining thing. So I thank you guys so very much for watching. I'll see you all later. Peace out.